Well, whatever. I think the way to win solo queue is just to uh, go jungle, get highest level, and then you don't run it down while everyone else does, and that's how you win. So I'm going to just do that. How noticeable is it that you're against someone that pays to win? I don't think it's noticeable at all. I almost never notice like someone being like well, just unkillable or tanky or insane damage or anything unless they're fed. If they're not fed, it's like so. I don't. I don't. I don't ever notice it just from items. Yeah, the only item I really notice is Buddy Barrier, and that's. Uh, even at level 1, that one's insane. So that's like, even free to play, it's really good. How about team running down top and you run it down bottom? It doesn't matter, because the problem is they have a catapult. And it takes you like 10 seconds to pay if you're maxed out on coins. They can literally recall and catapult on you and stop you. Like, they don't even have to be there. They can literally recall and then catapult on you and they can still stop you before you turn in. Like, that's what these wonderfully preschooler kids don't understand. It's just not possible to turn in. And it's very counterintuitive because they want to do something when they kill someone because that's what all the other MOBAs have taught them, but they're incapable of learning a new game, so... Yeah. That's why they keep in theme. It's the same thing with trying to kill someone in their fountain early game, like... That's like the Porky elo. Most people don't do that at this elo anymore, but like... They will literally just sit there and 2v2 you while you're getting fountain healed. Like... That, at Porky Elo, you know, at Beginner Elo and Great Elo, like they'll just sit there and they'll just fight you until they die while you're under your fountain in in a fair fight. Like they'll just sit there. Like this is, you know, what I'm saying, like it's, it's nuts. No, we're still doing hots, but I'm doing hots at the start of the uh, first half of the stream and uh, Pokemon in the second half. So the hots is the first uh, three or four hours of the stream now. Okay, maybe a third wishing well, maybe a third, but it's gonna be half eventually. Are we just letting them turn in? Cool, I guess. Charlie we win this. I mean, there's literally no way that can I don't know about boss immediately, that's really questionable. They're gonna be back. This is what I mean when they don't understand death timers. Because League, Dota, HOTS, I'll teach you objective when your opponents die. This game is not that. This game you do not objective when your opponents die because they don't they don't die. They, their death timer is one second. So you don't objective when they die, you just keep farming. And they they're so like trained by the other games they don't understand that, you know. Like look at this guy. Like actually look at him. And uh, now I think we just burn this. This is one HP, someone's gonna get it eventually. How about just playing passive? Yeah, playing passive is how you win this game, but people don't want to do it because it's boring. Or they just mentally don't understand it because it's counterintuitive to the other MOBAs. 
I'm using the 60S, but I heard they both work, or they all work. Yeah, bosses will respawn. They all respawn except Zapdos. Pikachu zoning. I almost don't want to score here because I feel like if I kill this goal, my team starts inting immediately. But see, like this Pikachu gets it right. He's not running it down to the second goal to int. He's actually just doing uh, stuff on the map. You know? That's what you need to do. This bird does not get it, and he got hella lucky. He did just did his suicide. And the other team just sucks. As you can probably tell from him just missing his ult. Like look, here's what happens when you try and ch This is not even the max here. Maybe we can't hear. Okay, we can't hear because the other team's like actually just beefing, but it should really be impossible. There's like five of them alive and only one top, so there's like four of them AFK in their base. It's, it's just and their base is right there. They can they can literally instantly drop onto you from their base. From, that's the problem with tier two towers as well. The catapult system, you cannot catapult to a tier one tower. But you can catapult to the tier two tower. So so they instantly paratroop on top of you. Like from fountain, they'll just appear on you if it's a tier two. So you just can't do it on tier two if, if they have any kind of brain at all. But these guys stall. These guys trying to sell the boss I'll take it. So this game is okay, I guess. I guess I've lost too many games back in new Lo. I think the blue HP on the the slow bro is he can regain that HP. I don't I don't know how. I don't know exactly how it works, but it's some kind of like potentially regain HP kind of thing. It's not real HP, but yeah, it's something that he can do. Bro, what elo is this? Can't be real. Why is he so fast? Couldn't even catch him with my own search. Now we're so far ahead, there's zero, zero uh, percent chance you should ever touch Zapdos. You should just kill them. I guess this is gonna be the ultimate check what elo I'm in. If one of my teammates starts hitting Zapdos, I've lost way too much MMR. Oh no, they're just hitting Zapdos. We've lost way too much MMR. It's a disaster, boys. No, you can all suck it. I'm gonna make sure you don't throw by killing the whole team before they even ever get to us, but y'all suck and you should lose for touching that thing. You're not getting past me. Oh wow, that wall can block teleports? That's kind of insane. You're not getting past me. I farm so I can kill you all before you ever get to the Zapdos, because my team really wants to throw it. You're not getting past me. Literally, I will kill you all. The Great Wall of Gengar is here. I am done with my team's griefing, dude. I will literally kill you all. I'm playing against boss? Yeah! And my team manages to throw against bots every single game. That's how bad these people are. It's unbelievable. Sorry, Gengar can always 1v9. 
Like, look at these. It's, it's, it's just, it's, it's such. A, I'm actually the best player in this game. I'm just, I'm just hard stuck solo queue. It's, it's such a joke. I show you my build. Uh, yeah, I'll show you when we find a game. Not broken. I was just five levels ahead of everyone. Yeah, I mean it's a little broken, but it's not that broken. I was really far ahead. Even if your even level is a little broken, but <laughs> it's, not, it's not that broken. stuck in great rank i don't blame you great rank is actually great and expert are actually just like cesspools of they're actually just coin flips because you have to be the the single player that the other nine players know without a shadow of a doubt uh carried the game you have to be like last game right for example last game uh you have to be without a shadow of a doubt the single player that everyone knows hard carried the game and if you cannot be that player which you know like 99% of people can't and you're in great or expert then it's literally a Zapodos coin flip it's literally a coin flip on whether or not you lose because uh, your teammates will start hitting the Zapodos and once they start hitting the Zapodos it is a coin flip because whoever gets it wins I suppose you could just pick something that's good at last hitting and then just sit in a bush near Zapdos and just try to last hit it. And you probably just increase your win rate by 10% more than anything else. Like it doesn't matter what you do early game, it doesn't matter what you do mid game. Just pick something that last hits really well and just sit at Zapdos if you're in those ranks and then just try to get the Zapdos. That's, so, so at least you get a favored coin flip. That's probably the best thing you can do if you cannot be like a 1v9 hero. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show you my items. Shit. Well, okay, I'll tell you though. It's uh, I'm running Buddy Barrier and Score Shield, and I'm also running Energy Amplifier. Buddy Barrier gives you and your ally with the lowest HP a 40% shield when you ult. Um, Score Shield gives you a small shield that they have to break whenever you try to score, and if they don't break it, they don't interrupt your scoring, which I think is a big deal because a lot of people just like auto attack you once because they think damage will break it. And then it doesn't break and then you can get some really cheeky uh, scores in that way. It might not be good once people figure out the cheese, but for now it's pretty good stuff. Yeah, I think this game is funner as a team right now, especially because if you're not playing as like a team voice comms, like you just you just you just get people that just like run it down, right? Like every single game, there's so many ways they can just run it down and just throw you the game because the game has so much comeback potential. So the team five man comp team is like by far the easiest way to win this game. Much. Bro, you're level three. I'm level 5, and I'm losing, because your hero is broken. Alright, cool. What the hell? What the hell? We're for sure against the 5-man team, dude. Their top laner and their bot laner collapsed on the level 3 Papega ganking me when I'm level 5. What a joke. Whatever, they got punished for it. Good enough. You can kind of see the power uh, levels in the game though. That's why I say Haunter is completely garbage until Gengar, right? That fool was level 3! And he still out-traded me. That's like how weak Haunter is compared to Zero or early game.
feels bad, JGF. I mean, Pokemon game is pretty soothing too, though. Surely you can also fall asleep to the Pokemon. Listen to the music, it's so it's chill. Yeah, but once we get to level 9, Gengar kind of triple taps anyone. That's kind of the redeeming factor of Gengar. That's true. I want to farm the bees. My hero's good at farming the bees. We're farming the bees. Except I just poisoned him instead of the bee. I don't think we kill him. I just want these bees. This guy's so annoying. He wants the bees too, I guess. Gee, thanks, guy. Whatever. I'm, I don't need them, the HP anyways, I'm farming. I'm actually gonna go talk with them because they got the boss and uh, I have max gems. Good opportunity to turn in here. If we can push him off, which I'm pretty sure we can. Tech so OP because you need to play nine levels of a useless hero before you get there. Seven levels, I guess. It's Val Infection, but balance better. <laughs> Yeah, I use about like half. I, I my aim assist bars in this game are all set to about half of the bar in the settings. It is useful. Might as well keep farming. Whatever. Five minutes surrender. I'm just gonna gank our spam until I get back to players that actually resemble humans slightly. Target wheel is a setting in your settings. It's like lock on. It's like some some setting called lock on. Target lock on, perhaps something like that. Well, that sucks. What Elgato device do you use? HD60S, but I hear all the capture cards should work. Pretty sure Leon has like a normal one, like HD60 and it works. Pokemon Unite! Why don't you mount? I wish I could, Suzumi. I wish I could, but not available in this game. When you start losing, you go against the team that's like bots? Nah. I think that's just because the bots were on your team the last few games. So it's just uh, it's just how uh, chance works, right? Sometimes they gotta be on the other team. What's I gonna do? Oh, I got some tickets. I can buy some uh, item enhancements.
Do I enhance items? Yeah, the game has a pay to win element to it. You know, she does. What is the next level of Buddy Barrier? I should have saved up and just gotten the next, next level. 20%, 30%, 40%. Oh, 40% is the next level. Okay. They actually toned down the pay to win. I'm pretty sure the max level for the best the effect used to be level 30, and now it's only I level 20. I'm just happy to lend my support to the best stream. Yo, well, thank you very much, Nordic Monkey. I appreciate the compliment and the kind words and the support. Really appreciate it. Thanks for resubbing even after all this time. Made Great League higher than in HOTS? Yo, you love to hear it, Stratomus. Congratulations. In my opinion, what Pokemon are S tier? Snorlax, Pikachu, Zeraora. Low bro, nine tails, maybe Cinderace. I think those are probably the best. My champ and Venusaur might actually be really good too, but I don't play those, so I can't really say if they're good or not. No Gengar? I don't think Gengar is S tier. I think Gengar is A tier. You guys think Gengar is S tier because I know how to play him and I maneuver the weakest part of the game like successfully. It's like watching a Nazebo that doesn't die a single time until and always has 300 stacks at level 20, right? It's like, yeah, that shit looks OP, but then you look, watch someone else play it and they're literally griefing at level 6. So you guys think it looks OP until you see another Gengar just in, run it down because they have no idea what they're doing. Asaya Lucario, thank you very much for the bits. I appreciate that. Big Pog. Oh shit, in pink. There's a. Oh, this could be bad if that Zara Aura wants jungle. Anyone know what that item the Zara Aura is holding? Is that Smite? There's no way it's Smite. Oh no, he wants jungle. We lost. Oh, it's attack increase, okay. Zara Aura doesn't need jungle. Gengar needs jungle, because Gengar sucks early games. Zara Aura is strong early games, you can actually fight in lane. Does X attack affect alts? I've never used it, but I've heard that it does. Yeah. Lucario is a hard one for me to place. I would say he's probably tier A right now. His ult is garbage, and that stops me from putting him tier S. Ready, go! Charizard is tier S? Charizard is definitely not tier S. Charizard is completely useless until his ult. Charizard is like... Yeah, so I don't think he's tier S. Oh my god. Well, honestly, I can't outlast hit this guy, but even if I don't, it's better that I'm leeching his uh, experience because uh, I need experience really badly. As this character. Well, unfortunately, Zara or uh, is just gonna last hit everything, but it's fine. I need a leech XP. Oops. Oh man. Oh, I can kill everyone though. Okay. 
kill this one, it's actually kind of weird. Oh, that's kind of weird. That's a lot of free experience for me, which is really nice. I need that free experience. Damn, I got all the bees. That's huge for him. Alright. Now it doesn't really matter if I jump or not. Now I just need experience until level 9. Just need to get experience somehow. What's up, guy back? Doing pretty good, can't complain, I'm chilling. Pikachu should be able to defend on his own. Honestly, even if he can't, I don't give a shit. If they score like 30 points early game, it means nothing. Compared to what it means if I get Gengar and actually start carrying. Cramorant's pretty good. He's been accelerating his farm so much. It'd be hard to beat that guy, actually. Damn, he got the freaking B again. It's a disaster. Expecting those flames to come back like Diablo, I know. That's that's like it's 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 so bad. It's it's actually so bad early game is insane. Those flames. Well just uh this hero in general. Anyways, I literally don't care what's happening. I mean if they're gonna try to score here, I'll try to stop it. I don't, I don't really care. Oh god, can I even live this? Nope. No. Just give. Oh man, they're level 8 and 9 though, this is probably doomed. This one's just going next because jungle got glimpsed. Well, maybe not. Maybe if we get a Zapdos, you never know. More Tracer games than Hots. Okay, sure. Yeah, I like playing Chaser. I'll try to do some more eventually. I should probably try to fight now. Oh, got boss, but then they all died. Oh, that's big. See, me getting Gengar is so big, because I can make insane plays if I get Gengar. That would never happen otherwise. Oh man. Almost got another 30. Got the Venusaur. The Venusaur was extremely fed, so I think it's worth it to do that. He just flashed. This is the freest kill of your life. Surely you get it. Okay. That's good. I'm keep farming though. He level 13 for the Zapdos fight. It's probably a Zapdos kind of game. The enemy team's doing that thing where they're griefing by suiciding into our troops. So. 
It's nice. Press and hold plus to give directions. Battle with me. Alright, let's see what happens. Never seen a bot before. Okay, he my my bot ulted nothing sick. Can't say I'm impressed, but whatever I guess. Maybe not over, because if we get 50 here and we get Zapdos, it's tough for your chance. Okay, well, whatever. That's the same as me getting 50, it doesn't really matter. I actually think I should just backdoor 50 here. I don't think they'll stop me. There's like people running it down in our base already. The only problem now is we have a bot, so I don't know how this Davos fight is going to go with a bot, but we'll see. Uh oh. Oh no, I'm just dead. Oh, but so are they. Oh, but so is this guy. This guy's getting shit on, bro. Hate to see it. And then someone just died to uh, Zapdos. Maybe they started and we can steal? Pray that they are starting it? No way they're starting it, though. Oh, they're starting it. There's a chance. Go, go, Zapdos! We gotta get to the freaking Zapdos! Go, go, go! Screw it! YOLO that shit! Oh, got this guy. It's so beautiful, dude. Like, literally, you can't make up how bad these guys want to be. We have a bot. They're greatly ahead. Ooh, what do we do? I don't know. Let's start Zapdos. Yeah, that's, that sounds like a good plan. It's not like I've lost that way like 70 times. No, let's start it again. That's surely the way we win this game. Yeah. I know we lost less 20 times, but surely this time is the way we win. Yeah. Go do that. Go do that. Go for it. I don't know if it's enough points though, because we have a bot and the bot doesn't really turn in right, so we'll see. Time's up. You see what I'm saying? Like it's the biggest joke of your life. It's actually the biggest joke of your life. Like my jungle got griefed, our Pikachu doesn't realize that he can 1v2 and griefs. He leaves the game. We have a bot, griefs. Literally, it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. Just sit in a bush near Zapdos, and if they start it, just kill them. It's literally it.